lose your understanding. But again, guys, this is as basic as we can give you because what all we're going to be doing is something similar to like this. But the concept is exactly the same. If we're going to add fractions, we have to have common denominators. So therefore, you say what two numbers multiply, uh, or what two number? What is the largest, smallest number? I'm sorry, that two and three both divide into. And you know, some of you like this is not two, four, six, eight, ten. What we can do is we can list the multiples of three, you know, six, nine, twelve, right? And then back in the day, we found the multiple, and you're like, oh, they both share a six. That's the smallest number, the least common multiple, right? And then what we say is, well, if we're going to combine these, they both have to have a denominator of 6. So then you say, well, what do you need to do to get this to be a denominator of 6? Multiply it by 3. But you just can't multiply a fraction in the denominator. You have to multiply it in the numerator and the denominator, right? Because that produces what we call an equivalent fraction. In the same respect, we have to do 2 here. So therefore, this would be 2 over, uh, or 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6, which equals 5 sixths. So now, all we're simply doing is I'm saying, well, what if I had two x's in there? Could we list the multiples of 2x? Yeah? But guess what? It gets a little bit more abstract here. Because we just don't like, it's not just 2x and 4x and 6x. There's actually a lot of multiples of 2x. Like, this can actually divide into you know, um, 2x squared and 2x cubed. Like, there's infinite many multiples. But if we can just think about, we're, let's just try to find the smallest possible multiple. Well, I found the multiple here by simply multiplying 2 times 3. Agreed? That doesn't always give you the smallest term, but once you guys agree that 2x times 3x, uh, if you multiply them, that's going to give you a 6x squared. right? But do we really need an x squared there? Could we just do 6x? Right? Yeah. So again, you just do the exact same thing here. 3 over um, 6x plus 2 over 6x. Now, let's say you did do 3x over 3x. If you did multiply by x over an x and a 2x over 2x, you'd now have a 3x, um, 3x over 6x squared plus 2x over a 6x squared, which gives you a 5x over a 6x squared. So if you don't choose the smallest multiple, then all you're going to have to do is simplify at the end, which isn't the end of the world, is it? Right? So don't, don't like overthink things. Every, obviously, we want to use the sim most simplified answer. But again, guys, if you're having trouble, then you know, just roll with it if you find a denominator. So usually, people don't have a trouble with the first two. It's when we get to this that people start freaking out. And they're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know the multiples of x plus 2 or the multiples of x plus 3. But again, if you follow the kind of pattern, if we can think about the product here of our two denominators, we could see that, like, remember, nobody wants to do long division to figure out what something divides into something, right? But once you guys agree that the product of these two, whatever that is, again, notice what I just said, whatever that is, who knows? What, well, I don't even want you to spend brain power thinking about what the product. But wouldn't you agree, whatever this product is of these two, that that divides into it and that divides into it? Doesn't that just understanding make sense? Yes? No? Kind of? OK? So let's just multiply it by the product. x plus 2 times x plus 3. x plus 2 times x plus 3. Don't even multiply it out. Just leave it as factored form. Because what's nice is you can see the x plus 2's divide out via the division property. The x plus 3's divide out via the division property. So now we're just left with the x plus um, 3 plus an x plus 2, which equals a 2x, whoa, a 2x plus 5. I should probably use my equal signs a little bit better. Yes, no. Questions? We'll do some exa I'll do another example. I'll do a real example and then give you guys one. So the, 